Okay, welcome back to our video series for the 200 ton oceans nav problems sample exam. We are now on problem number eight, which reads a vessel at a certain latitude and longitude heads for a different position. Determine the true course by Mercator sailing. So again, this is a sailings problem, which can be found uh, in Bowditch or in the Cutterman's Guide to Navigation Problems, which is located on uh, practicalnavigator.org. Um, so we have to do some Mercator sailing in this case. So the first thing I like to do is uh, write down the information that was given in the problem. So our position is starting here and ending here. And I always also like to draw the situation so I can keep it straight in my head. Uh, so we started at a northerly latitude and a westerly longitude, and we're heading to a more northerly latitude and a more westerly longitude. So it doesn't seem like they're very far away, but it's enough that we do need to take into account uh, curvature of the Earth. So we're going from A to B, and they want us to use Mercator sailing. So you can uh, Google a little bit about Mercator projection if you want, but in essence, they're taking uh, a globe and unpeeling the surface of it so that it turns into a flat piece of paper. And as you've noticed on charts, um, distortion lies further north as you progress uh, up the globe. And so if you were to draw a couple of meridians in here, the key to Mercator sailing and how they construct Mercator charts is something called uh, meridional parts. And so for a given latitude, uh, how long is a distance, how long is a given distance of, of longitude in that case? So at the pole, uh, you can circle the earth in a few steps, but at the equator, it would be maximized. It would be uh, a long way to go. So uh, back to the problem, we need to solve this by Mercator sailing, which means meridional parts, which means um, Bowditch. So uh, preliminary information, I'm gonna turn all of these into decimals, and then I'm gonna calculate um, some of my differences between the latitudes and the longitudes from there. All right, cool. Um, and then what I can do is I can calculate my L and my uh, difference in longitude. So L is just gonna be the difference between L1 and L2. Difference in longitude is gonna be the difference between longitude one and longitude two. In absolute value, it doesn't really matter. So. All right, uh, from there, uh, this is where I need to get into Bowditch. So we'll rely on Bowditch for this one, and we're gonna use the table for meridional parts. So in this version of Bowditch, it is table six, and it gives you latitudes and minutes of latitude, and so you just need to then pull out the meridional parts for any given latitude that you're curious about. So for latitude one meridional parts and latitude two meridional parts, I'll just go ahead and look in the book for those. Latitude one was 32.14.7. So here's 32.14, and now uh, you can see, I'll just round up to 15. So this is gonna be 2033.8. And for um, latitude two, which was 3658, 3658. So again, I'll uh, mentally interpolate those. And I get uh, 2377.5. So um, just like the previous where I had to do the difference between the latitudes and the longitudes, I have to do the difference between the meridional parts. So I'll subtract these. And I get uh, my M value is going to be 343.7. So then um, to solve the question that they're asking for, um, I need to find the course. So the formula for that is going to be difference in longitude is equal to meridional parts times the tangent of the course. This formula you can get in Bowditch in the sailings or in the practical navigator guide um, or the internet or anywhere but it is available to you in the test room. And so my difference in longitude was 553.26, and that's gonna equal my meridional parts times the tangent of what I'm looking for. So I will go ahead and do that. 
So my course angle comes out as 58.2 degrees. And now here's where, again, I talk about the course angle in a couple other videos, but um, clearly I'm heading from A to B. I'm not gonna be heading on a course of 58.2. So in course angle notation, this is gonna be uh, north 58.2 west, which if I subtract that from 360, I get my correct course of 301.8 degrees true. So looking at the uh, answers provided by the Coast Guard, uh, they're trying to trick you there. They're gonna give you the course angle, but that's clearly wrong based on where you start and where you end. So that should be a clue to make sure you got the course angle right. So our answer of 301.8 degrees true is correct. Mm -hmm.